In order to make you understand how to play well with this, it's time to become the metronome. So in today's lesson, you're going to learn how to metronome. On these digital metronomes, you have a pendulum that moves back and forth. Physically manifest what this is, because as a musician, you need to experience that pendulum movement and also the anticipation of what we call the end here, here, here. And in order to do that today, we're going to learn just that. We're going to make the pendulum into our bow. And it's a cool thing being a cellist is that we actually have a pendulum. A problem with these metronomes is that they are simply too quiet. But you always have a headphone jack. You may put it in your ear if you want to, or if you have one of these wonderful speakers lying around, which many of you do, check the back if you have an auxiliary input. And then you would take a sort of three, I don't know, a, a, something of this nature, just a simple, even mono if you want to, attach it to the phone output, and then attach it to the auxiliary input. And now you have a proper, what we would call in school, orchestra metronome, an ensemble metronome. They were these silver, they still exist. They're massively loud. They're supposed to be heard by an entire group, an ensemble. So they're quite loud. Try this with me. Start in the middle. And by doing this, you're physically manifesting the timing. This is timing. This isn't rhythm. Now, we need to apply the end of in between. Here. Ba. End. End. If you've ever heard people speak like one and two and three and they are subdividing they are counting in this sense eighth notes and i have a student right now working where she's having quite difficulty entering at the correct time which is right here on the end between the four and the one my suggestion to her and you if you're learning at home is when you are doing things of this nature when you're practicing have a metronome, become the metronome, and then when you're ready, end, 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 ba, ba, ba. And so when you start to physically manifest what this feels like, what this is, as a musician, you're experiencing this pendulum effect, but also what we call the end, the pickup beat. And if you ever wonder what a pickup note is, this is a perfect example. It is the note just before that picks up to the next measure, which we have right here. Here's the beginning of the next measure. So this is called a pickup note. And for a lot of us, it is very much a matter of timing. So get your pendulum going. One, two, ready. Bum, 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 bum. Did you notice I omitted the fourth beat? When you're going to begin on the end of something, it is already understood that you know what's coming. You need to be aiming for the motion, the air, here. You're not going to be more aware of that, of course, but you need to anticipate this more. This is your goal in the middle of the pendulum. So my suggestion, omit the fourth. One, two, three. Bum, 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 bum. Do it with any sort of... Do it with any music you want to as my dog goes crazy. And I guarantee you, if you learn to mat, and I guarantee you, if you learn to manifest this with your metronome, this will become 
much easier. Of course, pieces like this are just so much easier when they are faster. A little fast, yeah? So there is something about learning timing, learning rhythm, and then slowing things down. But at one point, you're going to have to speed it up. And when you're able to speed it up, you have to really anticipate that here, 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 here. So try that at home to a slow tempo. Connect your metronome to something, and hopefully today, this lesson has helped you learn how to metronome. Bye-bye now. Enough of that.